Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that Microsoft was finalizing our next optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 11 versions 23H2 and 24H2 in preview. And for Windows 11 23H2, the update is KB5044380. And for 24H2, it's KB5044384. Both those videos will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, my reason for mentioning those videos is because one of the new features that was expected to roll out with those updates, as we have been talking about on the channel, is the new phone link companion, which Microsoft has been working on for quite some time uh, in the release preview channel. And basically what this is in a nutshell is um, it's a widget, for want of a better word, that's placed here to the right-hand side of the start menu. And it's very similar to what we got with Live Tiles as an example over on Windows 10. And it seems now that Microsoft is temporarily pulling this feature and it doesn't seem that once again it's not ready for public rollout because I have seen a lot of comments on the channel. Users asking where is this feature with 24H2? They're not seeing it and it doesn't seem that Microsoft has polished this um, to what they want it to be. So they've pulled it again. So we won't be getting this with our next optional updates for 23H2 and 24H2 of Windows 11 with Microsoft updating the change log yesterday um, on the 14th of October for both those updates saying, and I'm quoting, this feature will roll out to insiders in release preview on Windows 11 version 24H2 and 23H2 at a later date and is not rolling out yet with this update. So that's according to Microsoft and what you can do with this uh, phone link integration, it lets you have a dedicated panel as mentioned where you can check your, your phone's battery, your connectivity, your messages, calls, photos, you can see your recent um, activity and so on and a lot more. So it seems that according to Microsoft they can't really make up their mind when this is going to roll out to the public. Maybe it's a good thing I'd rather them work on a feature before they roll out another feature and um, that's just going to be full of bugs and cause issues and known issues. So maybe they should work on it a bit longer if there is a problem, but they don't give us any info while they are temporarily pulling the feature. But nonetheless, putting it out there, if you are wondering where the feature is or you were expecting it to start rolling out with those next optional updates. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.